Queen on Brink, Royal Family Faces Commonwealth Rebellion, Meghan Markle Will Spark Chaos. The Queen Faces a Commonwealth Rebellion Against the Royal Family, a royal historian has warned, as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's exit continues to spark chaos. Queen Elizabeth II could face growing dissatisfaction with the royal family in Commonwealth states, royal historian Carolyn Harris said. The expert said the monarchy was at risk of a backlash if its presence becomes less prominent across its 16 Commonwealth realms. Ems Harris, author of Raising Royalty, 1000 Years of Royal Parenting, told Vanity Fair, the Queen isn't just Queen of the United Kingdom. If the royal family is less visible in the Commonwealth realms in the next reign, the question of the future of the monarchy in these 16 countries might arise. There are 16 sovereign states across the globe which recognize the Queen as their constitutional monarch and head of state. Among them are Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Over the past decades, the Queen and the rest of her family has paid regular visits to the realms to make sure the presence of the Crown was always felt. A few months after her coronation, the Queen herself embarked in a six-month tour of the Commonwealth, during which she visited 13 countries and covered more than 40,000 miles by land, air and sea. In 2018, Meghan and Harry carried out their first successful tour down under, visiting Australia, Fiji, Donga, and New Zealand. The Duke of Sussex has visited several Commonwealth realms multiple times, carrying out his first ever royal tour to Canada when he was as young as seven. Ems Harris also pointed out how disharmony within the royal family could diminish the crown and the queen in the eyes of the public. She said, the monarchy, ideally, presents a cohesive front to the public. The expert pointed out how, to her subjects, the Queen is the personification of the state and the Crown is seen as a unifying force, a level of government that's above party politics. Meghan and Prince Harry are stepping down as full-time working members of the royal family on March 31. The couple, who in January announced their intention to step back as senior royals and carve out a new progressive role which would have allowed them to carry out official engagements on behalf of the Queen while also work on private lucrative projects eventually agreed on relinquishing the use of their HRH styles, honorary military titles and the possibility to work as royals. The pair didn't hide their disappointment regarding the terms thrashed out by the Queen, who also said the couple won't be able to use their current brand name, Sussex Royal, after the end of March. In a heartfelt speech delivered in late January during a charity event dedicated to his organization Santa Ball, Prince Harry said, our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations, but without public funding. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. I've accepted this, knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. Similarly, the Sussex's latest statement published on their website last Friday night said, the preference of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was to continue to represent and support Her Majesty the Queen albeit in a more limited capacity, while not drawing on the sovereign grant. While there is precedent for other titled members of the royal family to seek employment outside of the institution, for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a 12-month review period has been put in place. Per the agreement the Duke and Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties and not undertake representative duties on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen.